Let's get you started with Vigil here in Rainbow Six Extraction. There's going to be two parts to this video, the part where we go over the equipment and the part where we show what he can do in a match, both of which are going to be marked as chapters in the description, so feel free to skip around. So let's jump right into the equipment here. One of the great parts about Vigil is that all of his guns are good, like all of them. So you start with the K1A. It's awesome. I prefer the MK14 for my end game, and I also make sure it's not suppressed. By the way, pro tip, take the suppressors off of all your primary weapons. You don't need it. It just makes you worse at the game, okay? If you don't have the MK14, I would then go the K1A, and then if you want to have some fun, the Boss G is a great time because it is a shotgun that fires slugs so you can snipe with it. <laughs> it's not the best sniper in the world, but boy, it sure tries. For a secondary, I like to choose the C75 because you can suppress it. We're not suppressing his primary, so let's suppress the secondary. Both of these kick a lot. The SMG-12 I don't think is suppressed internally, and you can't put one on it, which is why we lean C75. If this thing's kicking too much for you, feel free to lower the fire rate to single fire, and then it acts like a regular pistol. In terms of equipment, this is where we take a look at what Vigil actually does. So if you take a look at what Vigil actually does, he can cloak himself. He's actually really straightforward, so it's kind of surprising to me that this is the character that y'all wanted me to cover the most because he disappear and that's all he do <laughs> he has a few party tricks associated with that but he disappear and that all he do so if you take a look at his advancements all it does is it make him disappear better <laughs> it makes him faster it gives him a little bit of armor and it makes it so he gets an extra react explosive one of the cool parts is once he reaches level 10 he makes it so everybody disappear <laughs> And he also makes it so their speed is set to 4. And if you don't know what that means, I didn't know what that meant right away either. But really, it's just these ratings here. You see it says speed and then armor. So speed gets set to 4 on everybody else, even if they aren't running around. Whenever Vigil cloaks them, which is kind of cool, actually. And since Vigil disappears, his big thing that he does with that is takedowns. So, if you're looking at equipment here, you could double up on that and go paralysis grenades, which, in my opinion, are the best things for taking things down. Or, since you feel like you already can take things down with his skill, that allows you to open up other ideas, such as maybe a field wall, or a nitro cell, or really what have you. Personally, I really like running recon vapor nades when I play solo queue, because that allows me to at least get a little bit of intel ahead of randoms who are trying to charge ahead of me and alert everything possible. <laughs> so I do like the recon vapor nades just for solo queue. For the other piece of equipment, I would either go XR recon drone so you can see what you're getting yourself into, or go explosive harness. The recon drone's gonna let you see everything in front of you, which is huge if you're trying to plot out where you're going, and the harness just allows you to get more things to throw at things. But now that I think of it, something I should mention is I'm sure the game's brand new, right? So not everybody's gonna have a recon nade or a paralysis nade. So in that situation, maybe swap those out for something like a stun grenade, because that way you can hold things in place, get behind them and stab them, or a smoke grenade so you can kind of just have at it inside a big smoke cloud. <laughs> and if you want a little bit of damage, maybe consider an impact nade. These also will flip enemies around, which could give you the opportunity to take them out. These also work against armored nests in case you're dealing with those. So let's hope you understand Vigil's skill here, because while it's really straightforward, there are some nuances about it. So what it does is you press three, and you get this little at the bottom of the screen, and that little means that you're invisible to enemies. They don't know anything. Now, there are things that will cancel it. Oh, there's actually an eyeball on my face, too. I didn't realize that. There are things that will cancel it, like sprinting. You see how it goes back on its cooldown? Things that happen as Vigil levels up is the cooldown goes down. And eventually at level 10, he makes it so everybody on his team can be cloaked. But now something to keep in mind is I'm cloaked here again. And if I shoot, that also makes it go away. So sprinting and shooting makes it go away. Now, if I do that, everybody else on my team is going to be uncloaked if I'm level 10. However, if they shoot, they will become uncloaked themselves. But if they don't shoot again for a little bit and I'm still doing my cloaky thing, they'll become recloaked. So stakes are higher if Vigil cancels it compared to if the teammates cancel it. But now there are certain things you can do while cloaked. So if I cloak over here, I can I interact with things, which allows me to sneak in. I didn't lose cloak, right? I also can use my react laser. I'm also really curious. Can I kill him? <gasps> that, unblo that undid me. <gasps> okay, okay. Don't kill things with your laser. You could use your laser. Just don't kill things with it. <laughs> and then really the best part about Vigil is you see this stuff screaming around me? Did this on purpose. Now, since I'm Vigil... I can just go ahead and use my skill and then nobody knows where I am anymore. Huh? Where'd he go? I don't get it. And then you can just stab him. That is by far one of the best parts about Vigil is you can just get a takedown really whenever you want. And then the cooldown on his skill is only 15 seconds. <laughs> so you can just walk away and then get ready to come back and do it again. And again, if they see you, who cares? You can just be like, okay, here I am. And Vigil's really fast. Oh God, I'm blinded. I can't see. Oh God. Oh God. Well, if you're blinded, you get to maintain your cloaking. And then you can just come in and stab stuff again. 
Now, not only does this allow you to take things out really easily, it allows you to get out of a bad situation really easily as well. So if I run in here and I try to really get myself in trouble. Oh no, no, kill me, please. It's scary. I press three and then they'll leave you alone. Now, if something was already shooting at you, like let's say a tormentor was already firing and you're still standing there, you're still going to get hit. So watch out. That's scary. But I, this is the beauty of Vigil. Really straightforward. He just disappeared. That's all Vigil do. Vigil go by. And I'm sure you can imagine how this is also helpful in a situation in solo queue where people are running forward, alerting everything, and you just need to get out of dodge. So you can just be like, okay, bye. And then walk back to wherever you want to go. Maybe the extraction or maybe to a different objective, what have you. Nobody sees anything. And it's, an, it's only a 15 second cooldown. Now, one other cool thing about Vigil is not only does he allow his teammates to get cloaked at level 10, he will also cloak the VIP on VIP missions. So what you can do is if you have a teammate next to you who's going to go grab the hostage, you can cloak them once they do that. And not only will the VIP be cloaked and your teammate will be cloaked, everybody who's within the cloaking will get a speed boost. And since you can't sprint while you're holding the VIP, this allows everybody on the team to just scoot on by real fast and get the heck out of dodge, which is incredibly helpful on those missions. And just for funsies, in case you're wondering what it was like, I did equip the boss G, the, the silly shotgun he has. And you can just go pop and then go pop and it breaks things real good. It's, it's, it's really a lot of fun to use. Now, I do think it has a pretty severe damage drop off, but you can see I'm just nailing stuff. If you put a nice scope on this thing, part of what's really nice is it seems like the enemies, while they'll scream if they have line of sight of you, they do need to be close enough. So being able to snipe with any weapon is awesome, but since you can do with the boss G, you can have a lot of fun with it too. Pop. By the way, with Rooters, I think I have one over here. Oh, Rooter, where you go? The weak spot on a Rooter, I mean, everything's a weak spot when you're Vigil because you can just stab him. But the weak spot on a Rooter is actually his neck. So you have to hit him on the side of his neck right there. And that'll usually take him out. But yeah, Vigil breaks all the rules. I mean, this guy's probably going to charge me, right? And I do this and he's like, where'd he go? I don't get it. <laughs> you don't got to worry about anything when you play Vigil, which is what makes him great in solo queue. You can just run away from your problems or run into problems or... Really, whatever is your fancy. One other little thing to know about the cloaking is that you can tell how long it's going to last because when you press the button, there's that little yellow progress bar, I guess you could say. And once that yellow goes away, that means your skill is going to disappear. So just make sure you're paying attention to that. Something neat about Vigil's cloaking here is that if you are next to Blinding Spores, the Blinding Spores don't care. Now, I'm going to show you something very important that you need to know <laughs> about Vigil's skill here. I know you can just feel like, oh, cloak can make everything better. That's, that's, there's a nuance to it. So let's show you an example of where cloak don't make everything better. He's gonna scream, isn't he? Let's cloak. cloak is Still gonna scream. <laughs> so, be a little nervous. If something starts screaming, you still need to take it out. I don't want anybody to go ahead with Vigil feeling like they can just walk up anywhere and stop everything just by cloaking. They still go and scream. And something to note about these takedowns here is sometimes they'll try to get away from you and they'll do real goofy stuff. Eventually you'll get them. Other things to know about takedowns. You cannot take down an apex. Don't try it. <laughs> You're going to die. Also, elite smashers. Regular smashers are still one hit, but elite smashers take three stabs. So be ready to tango again after you try stabbing them once. And real quick, in case you guys want to see it, here is the SMG that he has. It's actually not that bad in terms of recoil. Kicks a little bit, but you can pull it down on a PC pretty easily. And this is what I meant about changing it over to single fire in case you don't want to deal with the kick. Oh, one other neat thing to know, which is actually way more useful on LMGs. This has nothing to do with Vigil. Way more useful on LMGs, but if you want to reload real quick and you got one of these nearby, just boop, and then your ammo actually gets reloaded back into your gun. So if you're sitting there with a big LMG that has like 150 bullets, but a 10 second reload time, and you're near one of those, just pick it up. Let me know what other characters you would like me to cover. Vigil here is pretty straightforward, but I'd love to cover other ones, so give me a little bit of guidance as to what you'd like to see. Also, we stream just about every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Link is in the description down below and also the top comment. And if you found this video helpful and you want to see more, please consider subscribing down below. Thank you guys, you're the best, and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.